I'm Denise with Artist Her Paint Party. You have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose. It might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Today, we're going to do dot designs. Okay, you can use any colors that you want to. You can keep it simple and use like one or two colors with white with a black background or you can use a variety of colors <clears throat> i wanted to show you guys this is my first one that i did and it's definitely not perfect and it's not even done because i really wanted to go and cover all of the black with more dots but i wanted to give you guys an idea of it not being perfect the first time you do it it's something that definitely takes practice so i would probably start smaller and do it that way and then you can always do them bigger and larger and more creative and a variety of designs so here i have a black canvas so i just took an old canvas that i had a painting on that i didn't like i covered it with black acrylic paint i let it dry and now i'm going to use it for one of my uh, dot designs okay and for the dots you guys can use those circle sponge dabbers you can use the eraser on a pencil. You can use Q-tips. I also have the, um, these are really cool. These are, these are really tiny dots and these are, um, they're nail dot art. So a lot of technicians use these for designs on nails, but they're really cool for art projects too. So I have a variety of those. These are double, you know, there's different size dots on each end. So this would be more detailed, smaller, but these are also a great project. What else could you use? Well, you could use caps from drinks or caps from old paint models. Now, some of my caps already have paint in them and so I'll just rinse them off when I'm done. You could use the handle of a paintbrush. That's why so of different size paintbrushes you can use they're gonna give you a different size dot if you're using the handle. So again your canvas can go in any direction and I would start with your center dot as your focal point. So find the center of whatever it is you're doing and that's where you would put your dot, your main center, right? So I'm gonna use uh, lid and I'm going to use white paint even though this yellow on there is dry already and I'm just going to dip it so you guys I have some paint on a plate okay and I'm just going to dip it in there like this okay go slow because it's um, and now I have a lot on there so it's probably going to not come out great so I'm going to kind of mush it around here and if you want you can practice on scrap paper first I just want to give you an idea and it, again it might not come out perfect the first time so I'm making a print of the circle okay that is so cool it actually has this really cool texture in it but that's not what I was going for but no one knows that so what could I I could leave the texture like that right you guys see that looks like a moon again I kind of like it but that's not what I was trying to show you so what could I do to fix it well I could load it up with more paint and print it again. Or, of course, I don't have a paintbrush in reach. Give me a second. I could fill it in with a paintbrush, which would probably be easier. I'm gonna grab a paintbrush. Right? So a paintbrush would probably be easier to fill it in again. Or maybe you're using those sponges. The sponges are awesome. There, but I did kind of like that black texture in there. So that would be the center of my dot design, right? 
Now, if you want to layer dots on top of it, you want to let that dry. So if I want to put a blue dot in the middle of it, a little bit smaller, I'm going to let the white dot dry and I'm going to work my way out. So I know Jim's here today behind the scenes. He's going to help us out. And I, I know he has some samples to show you. So I want to show you some different designs that you guys can create with your, my, um, your dot designs. Okay, so you guys, that is very intricate. That is definitely not a mandala you want to pull off the first time you do it. And it's not a quick project. This project takes a while and it's a very relaxing, okay? It really is very calming. And when I was doing this, I was just like, wow, this is really taking a longer time than I expected. And it's very, very relaxing. So again, there's blues, there's reds, and many, many different size dots with the central dot being yellow, right? So you would start with the yellow and then the white and then work your way out to the orange, right? And then again, keep working your way out. It's again, this is not a design I would attempt the first time. All right, let's try the next one. Uh, look at that. Very, it looks like lace to me or a snowflake. Very intricate white on black. So your palette, your colors are very, very simple, but the design is very intricate. So you can, again, uh, take, depending on how big you're working, you could take a styrofoam plate and trace it to get a nice circle and start with that and then work your way around it. But again, that's really very intricate. Look at all the different sizes. You guys, I have an Amazon truck here right now. Too bad I can't turn the camera. <laughs> What's in the box? So probably my sponges, but um, yeah, it's so funny. I just all of a sudden saw his head walking up the driveway. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the Amazon box, you guys? Ooh, I love it. It's like Christmas. Okay, so if you want, again, find some, a circle. You can even cut out a circle. So if you guys have tag board or colored paper, you can trace a circle and cut it out and use that to paint on as well. It doesn't have to be canvas, okay, and it doesn't have to be a rectangle. It could be any shape that you want. Again, and a nice circle would be awesome. I'm just giving you guys ideas before we get started. So I'm using, again, I'm upcycling, I'm reusing a canvas, and then I'm going to use a piece of tag board and the overhead camera I'm going to attempt to use. So we'll see how that goes. Can we see another picture? Ooh, look at that one. So there you have uh, blues. That's actually called monochromatic. So that is it's monochromatic because it's one color, the blues, but it's got various shades of blue plus the black background and the white dots, right? So I think that's really a very beautiful, intricate, complex design. So I just, again, today we're going to start simple and then you can go and expand with all these fancy things. And what else could, I know there's one I'm going to, oh yeah, I guess I picked, I was like, oh, this is so cool. Look at all the, now that's probably every color that you have in your art kit. So that would be cool too, right? And if you have stickers, you can use circle stickers for this project. If you have different, um, size dots and when i was an art teacher in the classroom with you know like 500 students i used to use um, the hole punch right we would have a hole punch and the kids would use glue sticks in the hole punch and use all the different colored um, circles for that so that's also another option you can do as well Ooh, that one's so pretty that's uh yeah again blues greens white on a navy blue background or a black background would look pretty cool too and then beautiful pinks and turquoises and yellows. You could do it on a rock. I know we have um, some rock paintings as well. So it doesn't have to be on paper. It doesn't have to be on tag board, right? It could be on a rock. So uh, it's just got to have a flat surface. It's not going to be easy to do if your rock has got a lot of texture to it. So I know we have a rock picture there. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, look at that. That's a cool one too. I thought those were cute. I thought you guys would like those. So um, again, you can paint on whatever you want. If you're going to do something on a rock or something like that, make sure it's a smooth surface because it's it's hard enough when you're on a flat surface to make a circle. All right, so let's uh, get started. I just want to do a little bit more on my black one just to give you guys an idea and um, how I'm going to work my way out. So on this one, I'm going to stick with, so I have that extra large circle in the middle, and then maybe I'll take one of my caps, 
Let's see, is that a good size? Yeah, let's try that. And I'm just going to dip it in the white. Hopefully I get this print a little bit better because it's a little bit smaller. Oh, you know what? The cap's not really circular. See, it's not like a perfect circle. Let me find something that's got a better circle. How about the bottom of the paint? I'll wash this off after. I'll use the bottom of the... See, now the, look at this. The bottom of it's not completely flat, but I'm going to... So we're experimenting, you guys, okay? So if it's not completely flat, it's probably just going to give me a circle ring. Let me see. Yeah, see that? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that paintbrush again. I'm going to paint it in. Okay, and I could do circles all the way around. The hard part is knowing if I'm going to have enough space. And you guys, this is a project you should really be flat. So that's why I'm going to use my overhead camera in a minute. Now your dots may be coming out perfect. Mine are not but I can always go back into it later with some black paint and touch it up. And again, I'm using a paint bottle. If I had those sponges that are probably inside the box on my front steps right now. But this is good because it's making me be creative, right? Not everyone can have sponge brushes. And I'm just giving you guys ideas. You can go on a hunt in your home again don't use anything so then a cool print but i don't want it to be i want it to be solid and this has a lot of contrast because i'm doing white on top of black you don't have to use black you could have you know white of course or any color background Oh, you know what else is a good one? I don't have any of these either, but those bingo dabbers. You guys have the circle bingo dabbers, and um, they make great circles. The only thing is they're all the same size, which is about this size. But that would be good, too. See, I'm not going to be able to fit two more, right, because of the size. I'm only going to be able to fit one more in here. Otherwise, I'd have to overlap it. So I'm just going to squeeze one right here. Take your time. Don't, again, don't worry if you mess up or if it doesn't look that good. You can start again. But I recommend you practice, okay? Practice a little bit. Try a variety of tools and different sizes. And, okay, now I'm using the bottom of this marker. And again, you guys got to, don't forget, you got to wash everything off after. See what this looks like. Ooh, that made a good print. You see that? So I'm going to do it. So I just centered it. And I'm, I should really dip the paint every time. Dip and dot, dip and dot, dip and dot. Oops, that one didn't come out good. So I could just dip a little bit more paint and try to go right on top of it again. And this is just like, almost like doodling. It's a very therapeutic, relaxing, and don't expect perfection the first time you do it, or the second time, or the third time. Just keep doing it for fun. Come up with different designs. Maybe you see a snowflake in it, or I don't know. When I was thinking this reminded me of biology class, studying cells. That's what it reminded me of. And maybe I repeat, you know, maybe they don't have to always get small. Maybe I have two of this size. Like this is starting to me to look like a snowflake. Ooh, 
Oops, that one didn't come out good. So I'm going to dip again. I'm going to go over it again. So I had it set up this way because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to pull off this whole overhead camera, but we're going to try it. All right. Again, Jim helped me. Oh, Jim, we should add the tripod to the carousel. You guys, Jim has this tripod and he told me to get it on Amazon. So I did. I got it and we hooked it up today. And now we're going to test it out in a minute. Everyone knows I'm technology challenged, but I'm trying. I'm trying to get better at it. All right. Is it perfect? No. Do you guys want to use a ruler? You can use a ruler. You can measure it out. I don't really want to, but you can. Right? Should I do one more of that dot? One more of that size? Let's do one more of that size. And then I'll go smaller. And then I'm going to go to the overhead camera. You guys, I love when you come on camera. So you can come on camera and share what you're doing. So many times you guys are doing things that I don't even think of, which I love. And then you inspire me because there's no right or wrong. Is that right? Oh, oh those are the, wait, I can't even see you guys. Oh, those are the twins. Wait, is that? Oh yeah, those are the twins. Hey, uh, yes. Are you guys wanting to come on the camera? You can, sorry, Jim, I did put the link in the group just in case I was having issues. So if they want to come on, they can. I don't, I don't know if they're just in here. Hey, you guys, what are you up to? They have the bingo daughter. That's what I was talking about. Hold those up. Okay. Yes, I love those. What are those? Those are, I said, call them bingo dabbers, but uh, is that what they're called? Dot paint? Dot paint. Okay, I love those. Oh, that's so cute. I love this. Good job. <laughs> that looks great. There's Tatum's. That's Eel laying down beside a flower looking at the wild moon. Wow. I can see that. That's great. Regan, do you want to show yours? Not He's not done. Done. I'm not done either. Okay, I'm not done either. I'm, I'm trying to make a I'm fish not, with not, flowers I'm on it. Not, I don't really want to be I'm doing trying to make a fish with flowers, flowers on it, and I'm trying to make a rad seed. I'm not done. That's awesome. And I love that you're using those dabbers. I got to get some of those. Yeah, but yeah. this one's messed up, and that's why I need it. That's okay. Yeah, they've been using these dabbers since they were like two. They were really, really nice. You especially for young ones. on a pillow. <laughs> Tatum and be Kai Kali. Tatum's beside Charlotte, yes. Hi. Hi. I like your shirt. Wow, he is not good. Well, thanks for sharing, you guys. Can you come back on? Um, yes. Me yeah. and we are not done yet. That yeah, sounds I'm, good. You guys, you guys can come back later. I need that. I need it. That's awesome. I love when you guys have stuff that I don't have. <laughs> and then everyone gets to see what you're doing, right? I think that I should, wait, one, two, three. I'm wondering, I think I ha should have another one right here, don't you think? I think that's why it looks so lopsided. I think I'm supposed to have... Oh, that's why. Well, I'm still going to put one here. Remember, I couldn't squeeze in another circle there, but it looks weird. So I'm going to put this one here. Right? There's no right or wrong. Who's going to grade me? Nobody. A is for everyone. All right. There, that looks better. That's what was missing. Now it doesn't look so weird. Okay, you know what? Now, you guys, I'm going to go to some Q-tips. So Q-tips are also great. It might be a little bit too small, but I think it'll still look good. So let's try. Oops, got a big string here. Is that too small? So I could always make it a little bit bigger, kind of swirl it around. I 
I love how they were making pictures with the dots, right? So that could be like Aborigine art, which I want to do soon. And that could be when you make an entire artwork out of dots. Today, I really wanted to focus on trying and experimenting with dot designs before we actually go into an act, uh, like an artwork of a sea turtle or a butterfly or anything. I actually wanted to experiment with the dot designs first. So Aborigine art is from Australia. Oops, this one's too much paint. So that's why you shouldn't paint like this because now it's starting to drip. I'll take a little bit over there. See, and then I want to get it smaller. Like I'm trying to get it to go smaller. Oh, and then I can use my little, I'm afraid if I use those little tools, you guys won't see it. So I'm saving my little tools for the overhead camera where I'll work a little bit smaller. Again, is it perfect? No, but it's fun. We're having fun. We're making cool art. You know, when you're little, when you're in those primary years, everything you do is perfect, right? And then as you get older, not, you know, I would say by 10 years old, every, you know, everyone is just part of the stages of development, yet self-conscious. You're worried about what other people think of your artwork and, you know, you compare yours to everybody else's. That doesn't happen with in preschool. You know, in preschool, everything looks great, right? You are a rock star in preschool and even in kindergarten. And then again, as kids get into third, fourth, fifth grade, they really start to become self-conscious and they lose that kind of freedom and not, you know, worrying. So it's just great to not worry about and enjoy it because it's I believe art is more about the process than the product it's more about the process of creating and not worrying about the outcome now it's always nice to make a beautiful artwork don't get me wrong but it shouldn't be what drives you the joy of painting right the joy of painting and creating and not being perfect and as Bob Ross would say a happy little accident that we all have. So my, again, hopefully if I was laying down or, you know, flat, it would be a little bit straighter, but it's not perfect and it's okay. I'm all right with it. And like anything else, the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. This one needs a little, oh, this one's dripping, dripping, dripping. And I can just do go right off the canvas, right? Right off the canvas. And you just want to fill it in, again, with circles and dots and colors and designs. And we just, let's see, how's that? Just to give you an idea, if you want, again, you can, because I want to go to the overhead camera in a minute, but you can add, let's see, what circle do I want to do? I'll wipe this marker off. This was a good size. I'm going to take this and I'm going to dip it in this pink. It's a pretty pink. Look, and I can add that right in the middle there. Okay, can you guys see that? And I can always add more. 
but it'll be better if you wait a little bit. So you want to let it dry. So if your circles are still wet, let them dry and you can layer it, right? So white and then pink and then maybe orange or, but I can't add the next color until this pink dries. So that's how you would layer on top of it. All right. So, ooh, are you ready for the, oh, let's see, let me see if I, all right, Jim's going to help me out here. So I got my overhead camera going on here, you guys. Ooh, look at that. Spectacular. <laughs> Okay, so I did at first I was going to do it on the blue, but my blue is all wrinkled and you can see all the lines and the wrinkles. So I took a piece. So this is just a heavy stock like tag board. You can use paper, but the paper may wrinkle a little bit or buckle a little bit. So again, I'm just using the tag board and you guys can trace a circle if you want to but i'm gonna just start in the center now this would be another one you could trace the plate you could cut out a circle and have like the circle design right so that's totally up to you but i'm not going to so i am going to do do, do. i'm going to start with another do i have enough white let me do some blue I'm going to take the cap. Look at my, that looks cool. Does that look like a marble? I'm going to find the middle. I'm going to do a print of my circle. Okay, again, it didn't come out. Look at all, see, I think that texture looks pretty cool. But I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. If that happens with the big one, with the big circle. But that blue on that pink looks kind of pretty. So I was thinking this one, I was going to do like a variety of blues. Okay, so let's try. So we have the big cap. Let's try the. This is a lot of paint. And again, that's not a perfect circle. So let's go to, let's try this. That's like a turquoise. And I'm using the bottom of a marker. And I'll just leave a little bit of pink in the middle. I mean, in between the crack, you see that? This would be a good flower. You could make a nice card for somebody. Oops, that one didn't come out good, so I'm gonna go over it again. So you have to be very mindful and go slow. Mindful means pay attention to what you're doing, right? You can't multitask when you're doing this. And as soon as I start to think about something else, I mess up. As soon as I start to think about what I'm gonna have for lunch <laughs> or what I need at the grocery store or, you know, anything like that, then my mind is not, is not, it's wandering, right? And when I, my mind wanders, I'm not focused. And when I'm not focused, it doesn't come out as good. So now I'm going to, all right, that's good. One row that size. So that was just the bottom of a marker. And then again, you guys don't forget, you got to wash this stuff off. Now I'm going to go to a Q-tip and then I'm going to use my little dotting tools. So let's try a Q-tip. Oh, I should show you. Did I show you the eraser yet? I love using erasers. The only problem is then when I go to draw with the pencil and I forget and the eraser doesn't work anymore. Once you use the eraser in the acrylic paint, you can't use it to erase anymore. That's why I always have these around, okay? Because I do this to my pencils.
So a lot of dot designs are called mandalas and mandalas are created by, I believe they were initially created by Buddhist monks and they would do it as a form of meditation again, because you're being very mindful and they would many times create these intricate, beautiful designs outdoors in sand and then the next day so it would take them it could take them a week and many people will work on them together and they're beautiful and then they would just sweep them away or they would just let nature wash it away oh my gosh you guys I have a hair on there okay did you see that <laughs> don't want that in there um so it was really about you know being temporary not being you know perfect for sure and just not having attachment to it. So it's like you spend all this time on it and then you have to let it go. Now we let ours go maybe by giving it away to somebody. Okay. And you know, another way to do this would be like if you have little beads, little, you could bling it up. Sequins would be really cool and pretty. Okay, now let's go to my tools. Now my tools are pretty little but I want to try them and see. So maybe I add, I want this to dry before I layer it, but maybe I put a little dot there. Dot. Can you imagine doing that? What happens if you do it on someone's fingernails and then you make a mistake? I mean, I, you guys, I'm not a, I'm not a very neat artist and I sure don't think I could do fingernails with these little dots. But I have seen people do it and they come up with some amazing designs. Can you see those little white dots? Okay, so that was about that size. And then the other one has a really tiny dot. Let's see, I'll put a little tiny dot here. You guys can barely see that. I'll hold it up closer to the camera, hold on. But it, it's definitely relaxing. I'll show you how little these are. See how little they are? And my paper's buckling a little bit because of the I'm I'm using a lot of paint. So it's but once it's done, you guys one could tape it down so it wouldn't buckle. That's one way. When it's dry, I can put it inside of a book or underneath the book and it'll flatten it back out. But I want to wait for it to dry because then my paint won't get all messy and mushy. And maybe I'll do, let's do the eraser. I'll show you guys the eraser. I love the eraser. So let's try this turquoise again. See how nice the circle comes out? So you just dip it and dot it. Dip and dot. Dip and dot. Now, if you have a lot of um, like plastic containers that you drink out of, whether they're water caps or drink caps, you can save those caps and make designs with them. Not even with paint. You can actually glue the caps down and make cool designs with the caps. Um, or again, you can use them as, with paint as well, or you can use them to trace. This one reminds me of a flower. We should come up with some names of our designs, right? This one just reminds me of a springtime flower. Okay, so I mushed them two together right there. That's okay. Shh, don't tell anybody. I made a mistake. You guys know I make mistakes. 
Well, I don't want to use the pink paint on the pink because it won't show up. That would have not have contrast. So I'm just doing it in blues. Let's see. This one's a little. Let's see how this comes out. I think I have a little bit too much paint on there. You can make it two tones. See, I didn't wash it off, so I have both the dark blue and the light blue on there, like the turquoise. I think it looks kind of cool. See that? It's like two tone. Oop, that one I messed up. And then again, you want to let it dry before you layer the dots. So I'm going to do one more and then we can start putting other dots on there. Oop. What else could you do with dots? You could do, um, like if you guys have a box, like a treasure box or a jewelry box, you can decorate it with dots. Now I look like I'm just getting messy, don't I? I think what's happening is my paint is drying. So you guys see that chunkiness right there? So it's a little bit warm here today in Cleveland, Ohio. Can you believe it? So the paint's starting to dry and it's getting a little chunky. So what I could do is take my Q-tip, see that? And I can kind of get those chunks out of there. Plus it'll dry quicker if it's not so thick. I like texture paint. A lot of people don't. I, I painted with someone for the first time the other day and she was like, why do you see my brush strokes? I don't like that. And I'm like, because it's not an iPad, right? It's not like a printout from a magazine or computer. If you're doing a real painting, you should see your dots or your brush strokes or some texture. That's what makes it a real painting. If you're doing di it digitally, it's going to be much smoother. But a little texture is cool. Right. So again, because mine's a little bit thicker, it's going to take a little bit longer to dry and paint. You guys, it depends on the humidity level and how warm it is. So sometimes if it's really warm, but very humid, it takes forever for acrylic paint to dry. Like it could take 10 hours. I was at a festival and I was painting outdoors and it was, it was like 95, but really, really humid and no one's painting was drying. So they all left them there while they walked around the festival. And um, I mean, it, it took hours. And then if it's really hot and dry, like Arizona, but I mean, it's been like that here as well, but it dries really, really quick. So sometimes the paint dries right while it's on the plate and I have to keep refilling it. So it's warm here today. And I think my paint is drying on my plate, but I don't want to waste it. Okay. So let's go, um, I'll do, I'll overlap one real quick, even though it's not really dry, just to show you. We'll put, how about yellow? What do you guys think? A little yellow? Should I use, let's use a Q-tip. Now yellow on blue, right? Could look green. Maybe I just, I don't, again, it's not very dry, but, ugh. all right, I'm not going to do any more because I don't want to ruin it. Let's go. Let's go back to the black and white one. Jim, can we go off of the overhead camera and go back to the full camera? Yay! Oh, I didn't even realize I matched my painting. Look at that. Black and white and black and white with some pink, right? I should have wore a pink beret today. 
All right, so what I was trying to do was overlap them, like I did the pink on the white here. And again, if you want it more straight, maybe you guys use a ruler and use as many colors as you want. And I, I really don't expect you to get done with me today unless you're working small. So if you guys are working really small, it'll be quicker. But if you're working large, so this one, you guys, is 16 by 20, right? This, my little paper is... I don't know, maybe eight by 10, nine by 12, something like that. So um, again, you can go all the way out to the edge and just stop, or you can trace a circle and then cut it out. And if it's buckly, so you can see mine's a little bit buckly, you guys can, again, press it in a book, but do it after a stride. <laughs> so it doesn't ruin your book. And let's see, oops, I'm dripping here. Jim's going to give you guys the link if you want to come on today. And I know, let's say, Reagan's there and Charlotte and Tatum. Oops, I got paint back there. Let's see what I have left. So this is what my plate looks like. <laughs> you guys see that? Oh, my gosh. I'm letting you guys see the whole mess today. Well, you can't see the whole, whole mess, but it's pretty bad. I'll clean it up later. But again, you guys can fill it up with as many circles as you want. Maybe I do. And I would keep them close together. Let's see. How about Q-tip? Let's see how this blue looks on the black. Or should I do another white? Mm, let's try blue. I love that. This is turquoise blue. Can you guys see that? Just have fun and relax. And you can always, even if you have sequins, you can always add the sequins on top of it, right? You can put a little piece of sequins on top of that. If you guys have Maj Podge, the sparkle Maj Podge, you want it glittery, wait for it to dry and then paint it on top of it. And then you'll have some bling, some glitter but not loose glitter. I don't like loose glitter because it gets everywhere and so hard to get off. Mod Podge is not like that. Mod Podge is, um, it's got the glitter built into it. So it's like glue with the glitter inside of it. It's really pretty. So does this one look better than this one? So this is my first one that I did. Okay. And then this one, it's a little bit better. So again, you guys, the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. Let's see. That blue. Let's put some fresh paint down. I'm going to put some fresh. How about some yellow? Let's see what goes, what happens with the yellow. I kind of like the Q-tips because it's an easy cleanup, right? You can just throw them all away. It just depends on the size that you're looking for. Can you guys see that yellow? So again, it's not perfect. They're a little bit. A little bit wobbly, right? All right, let's try some little dots. Dot, 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 dot. So I'm using a Q-tip. The harder I press and swirl around, the bigger my dot's going to be. But if I just gently dot it, it's not going to be as 
big. Oops, I got, so I white paint on my hand and now I just got it on my canvas. So what can you do? Well, I can let it dry and I can paint over it black again. Dot, 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 dot. Lots of dots. Remember when we did pointillism all with dots? And we learned about Sarah, who did these amazing, beautiful, huge paintings, all with tiny little dots. So it's much more intricate than like Aborigine art. And then like here, you gotta fill, you know, that's a big gap of black. I gotta fill that in. I don't know how it ended up so lopsided. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's perfect, right? No, it's not perfect, you guys. That's okay, you just do your best. And fill it in. Till you like it. That's why you wanna use your favorite colors. Yellow, black, white, turquoise, and pink. That's what kind of a lot. Orange might look cool on here too. Or you could do like rainbow colors. Right? Now, if you guys look at, at this one, you see how there's like another large, 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 going all the way at large, large, large. So I could do that here. I could do large, 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 large. This one, Ugh, it's all. So this really has to be washed. <laughs> I could use my paintbrush on it though. It probably would be better. Here's my paintbrush. Let's see. Again, it's got, it's starting to dry out here. So it's gonna be a little chunky. Let's see. So you don't have to be done. If you guys want to come on camera, you can come on camera. You don't have to. I know Tatum and um, Reagan, you guys, and Charlotte, you guys want to come back on? I don't even think they're there right now. They're probably washing their hands. So I'm going to put one. You know what? I can always cover up my big splotch, right? But then it won't be centered. So I'm going to try to center it. And then again, I could go back over with black later. Woo! All right, you guys, look at that. There's a big smooth look at that. Look at that mess I just made. Okay, now breaking down and crying is not going to fix that. So I actually leaned against my canvas and it flopped over. So what am I going to do to fix it? I know you know. I'm going to paint that black. I'm going to paint over it black, but I have to wait for it to dry. Otherwise, it's just going to make a bigger mess. And, you know, the problem is people love, including me, love to fix the mistake right away. But you have to be patient. And I promise you, you can fix it. I can fix it in a couple minutes. Okay. I love experimenting, right? So this is an experiment for me because I'm using all these different supplies. 
And so many times I'll be like, Jim, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. And he's like, don't be afraid. Right. But he's extremely uh, knowledgeable in technology and I am not. So that's something that scares me is using an overhead tripod or trying to use my phone as a camera. Uh, and, you know, again, sometimes you just need someone to coach you along, but art is not like that for me. Like I'm, I love experimenting and exploring and taking risks and seeing what's going to happen. But I understand, you know, when you're afraid to make a mistake or you're afraid you're not going to be able to do it. Or what if you do make a mistake, right? I get that because I have that just in different areas. With paint, I'm not afraid of it. I make mistakes all the time. I'm just not afraid of making mistakes because that's how you learn. I keep waiting to learn from my technology mistakes. But as fast as I learn, I think technology advances, right? It changes on me. Let's do two more and then I'm going to fix that mistake and then you guys are going to come on the camera or we're just going to wrap it up. Okay. One more. So if you want to come on, click the link to come on camera and share. You don't have to be done. One more, one more blue one. And I didn't even pour the black. And those of you guys that paint with me all the time know that I don't even put the black on the plate until the end because I end up bumping into it and getting it into all my pretty colors. So, okay, let's find the black. I don't even know what I do with my black paint. Give me one second. There you are. Licorice. Oh, I hear someone's here. Hi. Who's here? Emma and Bella. Emma and Bella. All right. Emma and Bella can come on up. Hey, girl. Okay, so we did several things today. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So I did two rocks. Okay, this is one. Oh, that looks great. I did lots of blues and purple here. Right, here's the second rock I did. There's a lot of things going on. That is like the most perfect circle rock. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you find that rock? I don't know. It was somewhere in our yard. Wow. And this is my last one. I'm still. Oh, that's so cool. Still working. That, this. that would be like, is that a book? Oh, it's like. Oh, your sketchbook. It's a, it's a little book with black paper in it. I love it. You know what that would be really cool as a phone and not a phone holder. That's what it reminds me of, like a phone holder. That would be really cool. Yeah. I did one rock and one little piece of cardboard. She's still working on. That looks great. I, I'm a little jealous of the rocks. No, I'm a lot jealous. <laughs> they look great. This one I'm still not done yet, but here it is. Very nice. So is that um, a card stock? Is it heavy or is it cardboard? Oh, is it cardboard? Just cardboard yeah. she painted black. And then Very nice. Going at it Here's what box. it looked like at first. Here's another piece of it. Just a box we cut up, and she decided. Oh, so I, I'm sure it was an Amazon box, right? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> That's awesome, you guys. Yeah. And I'm then gold paint. <laughs> we have these boxes that we painted a long time ago. They're not exactly the same exact style, but they're what? more pointillism. But they're also dots. 
Yeah. Wow. Like years ago, so they're not the best. But. No, they look really cool. That's supposed to be a snake in the middle. This thing. Hey, will you guys stand? Because I know that um, Charlotte and Tatum and Reagan like when uh, you guys stay on with them. Is that okay? Sure. So, Jim, will you bring back the kid, the little look? Yeah, there they are. All right, you guys, are, look at you're on camera with Emma and Lola. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Hello. What yours is? Um, Ooh, well, I made a fishy with some flowers on its tummy and the wag things and um, all its fins and, and the There's other wag lips. things on the back is the fins but the so lips are over here the lips are on the green I mean on the rat on the blue hat oh thank you that's so cute we love it. Thank you. This is really beautiful, guys. Regan wants us to show you his. Hold on. And then he, we'll he went over there. While we make you one. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. I love the greens and yellows. Somewhere there's a caterpillar, but I don't remember where he said. Maybe it's here. <laughs> Show it, Henry Rollies. That's awesome. In honor of Eric Carl. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Uh, and she's going to hand me Raleigh's paper. Here, Charlotte, hand it to me. No, that's fine. I already showed them mine. There's, Raleigh did a tree with an R. Oh, that's nice. Good job, Raleigh. Good job, Regan. And Tatum got done with it, hers. Here, let me see. They've had fun. So Good. I'm glad you guys had fun. I had fun too. Yeah, that's supposed to be E or laying on his back. I think she said that earlier, but she got done with it. So. And the, the red thingy is the moon. Yeah, the red blood moon. Oh my goodness. E was laying down looking at the moon. That's what Tatum said. And there's also a flower in front. And that's, just, that's the other thing she said. My teddy. And the little teddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's so cute. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. So she said thank you. Oh, have a good day. I love your time. You too, you guys. Emma and Bella, awesome. Hearts to you guys. And Regan and Charlotte and Tatum. You guys all did awesome today. I love your rocks. Be creating. Love the picture idea that you posted. I love your artwork. So you guys keep creating. Okay. We'll post the other ones too. Thank you so much. All right, you guys. Have a great day. I'll see Everyone, you later. Have a good Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Bye, you guys. Thanks, Jim. I think you guys, we did a great job. I, like, come on. You, the kids do way better than me, but it's not a contest. Oh, I forgot I was going to show you guys real quick before we wrap up. All I'm going to do is fix my mistakes. Okay. Well, some of them. But look. I as I was talking, I was leaning against my canvas. So I have like all these white splotches. So I can just go and paint over them with black, but just make sure it's dry. So my blue needs to be dry and then I can paint right over that. See that? See that? Here's a big smudge over here. Let's cover it up. And there you have it. There's our dot art for today. And look, you guys had fun and I had fun. And now it's time to clean up, okay? I, and you guys, I'm a, why am I always the messiest one? Okay, I am always the messiest one, but I had fun and I gotta wash up everything and let it dry, post pictures, send me pictures, message me, email me, and be happy and make art. And you guys, I'll see you again soon. Thank you.